and welcome. My name is Anthony Harris. I'm a website administrator for RenaissanceRules.com. In this instructional video, we will look into creating a simple project for the RDK RX 63N using E Squared Studios. So to get started, open up E Squared Studios. Once it is open, start a new C project. And this is done by clicking on File, New, and then on C project. And window will pop up allowing you to name your project as well as choose the compiler that you would like to use. Once you have selected everything, go ahead and click Next. On the next window, change the CPU type to be the RX63N, then click Next. Leave the default values on this page and click Next. On this page, Change the debug hardware to Seeger J-Link and change the target device to the appropriate device that you are using. Then click Finish. A secondary window will pop up. Go ahead and click OK. With the project now generated, go ahead and expand the Project Explorer by double clicking on it. Then double click on the folder labeled SRC to view its contents. To open up the main file, go ahead and click on the file that is named the same as your project with the .c extension. We are now going to add the appropriate code required to use Switch 1 and LED 14 on the RDK RX 63N. The program will be designed to turn on and off LED 14 depending upon if Switch 1 is pressed or not. With all the code properly inserted, it's time to build the project to verify that there are no errors. To do this, go to the Project menu item and select Build All. After the build process is complete, it is time to load the program to the board for testing and debugging. To do this, right-click on the main project file and scroll down to Debug As and select Renaissance GDB Hardware Launch. Once the debugger is open, select your project as seen and then hit Run. You will have to do this twice to get the program to run on the board. Now with the program properly loaded to the board, we can check out the board to verify that it is working properly. While looking at the board, you should be able to press switch 1 to turn on LED 14 on the board and release it to turn off the LED, as seen. And this is how you use E Squared Studio to properly build a project for the RDK RX 63N. For support and further questions, please refer to renaissancerules.com and check out these other great links.